I'm Brian West, we're at the GeekWire Studios on location at AWS reInvent 2025 here in Las Vegas. Joined now by Rushmi Shetty, Senior Director, Machine Learning Engineering at Capital One. Did I get all that right? I love that. Let's talk first, if you will, about agentic AI systems, what they are and what do they bring to the enterprise? Yeah, so Brian, as you know, AI has evolved over uh, the past decade in an unprecedented pace. And agentic AI is the next level which will accelerate uh, the AI journey for our customers. So you can think of uh, agentic AI systems as a system that is responsible for solving problem, uh, problem solving goal oriented tasks. So you can think about a, of this as a system of multiple agents, multiple logical agents that come together to solve a specific complex task by breaking it into multiple steps and by reasoning through these multiple steps by ensuring that we are invoking the right tools for the right actions. So these are a group of different uh, agentic uh, systems coming together to solve a complex problem. So uh, one of the key things or key value adds agentic systems brings into its wake is uh, uh, it being autonomous in a task execution. So, and that's of huge importance to our enterprises. Our enterprise systems are pretty much long running, high stake decisioning processes. So uh, bringing in that element of autonomy is, is where it helps us with regards to uh, figuring out where we can plug in where manual, long running manual tasks and manual activities are involved. So um, it's, a, it's a big, big uh, unlock for enterprise uh, software, especially for uh, Capital One. We have been at the forefront of agentic AI for a while now. And uh, one of the key things for us is to bring in agentic AI by leveraging our data ecosystem and uh, modern technology stack. Uh, so that's kind of bringing the whole agentic software to the enterprise for Capital One. And I can tell that you're very excited about it. Deploying agentic solutions is no trivial task. You can sort of launch them and they grow and they learn on their own, but how do you integrate them into an enterprise architecture? So this is very key, right? So they are pretty much Based on our agentic journey and our experiences, we have observed two standoff capabilities. One is reasoning, and the second is specialization. As I mentioned earlier, so when we are trying to break down complex uh, tasks into multi-step problems, you have to have that element of reasoning which will help you decide autonomously in terms of what is the right task uh, uh, for, and what is the right action at the right time that needs to be taken. And reasoning is the answer for that. And specialized models is the second unlock for us to be able to uh, kind of bring in that element of uh, the specific tasks that needs to be taken in the context of the customer and business setting. So uh, these are two things that is critical. In addition to this, you know, agentic AI solutions cannot be a one-off project. It has to be scalable. So the thing that brings us to get to that finish line is to get a platform approach to agentic AI systems so that these solutions and these software artifacts that we are building is scalable, it is reusable, and we can leverage it across the enterprise for different use cases and different lines of businesses. Uh, and we, this has been our cornerstone at uh, Capital One for us to kind of first start with our concierge AI chat and move on to our AI platform. And it's certainly important to have a plan, to have a strategy as you expand through the enterprise. Having a bunch of desperate systems uh, all trying to, to do the same thing is not only complicated, but maybe in fact troublesome. Let's talk about other organizations that are looking to deploy agentic AI systems. What advice or tips would you have for them thinking about how they're going to go about this journey? Yes, so a few things uh, I've already mentioned. So you have to kind of, at Capital One, we strongly believe that our data advantage is our AI advantage. So this kind of brings in the concept of specialized models that I spoke about earlier. 
So proprietary data, a modern technology stack, a very well thought through data ecosystem, and of course top talent. These are a few things that bring together your uh, agentic vision to life. So um, another experience that I can talk about from our Capital One journey was how we built out the concierge AI chat. And from that experience, you can see some of these things playing out. So uh, one of the key things, as I mentioned to you earlier, is reasoning systems. So these multi-agentic systems have to have the ability to reason, to be able to deliver that concrete task, break that down into individual steps, and to bring that reasoning and specialized models into your infrastructure, into your ecosystem, is one of the key things for any enterprise to be able to kind of bring that agentic journey, walk along the agentic journey. Uh, and uh, of course, top talent is another thing that I mentioned earlier, and uh, your, your data ecosystem and modern technology stack that brings everything together. I have to say, Rashmi, you've, you've made it seem simple. But it's a journey, much like being here in Las Vegas is a journey and not only trek to get here, but a lot of walking while you're here. What do you think is in the road ahead? What are we going to be talking about next year? What's, what's to come in this space? Yes, so we, if we follow the journey of classic ML, the first few years are always about figuring out what is this agentic ecosystem looking like? How are we going to deploy these agents? Where is the balance between costs, latency, and performance. So bringing in that specialization of models, bringing that infrastructure, bringing that ecosystem into play, and then figuring out how do we scale and automate the building and deployment of agents is the typical next unlock. Where, where do we bring in the evaluation framework? How do we bring the auto ML or the auto agentic deployment, that is where we are headed. In the, in the definitely, definitely some exciting things ahead. Thank you so much, Rashmi Seti. I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios. Thank you so much for watching.